Fitzy and Whipper. So excited about this. The first one, our kids love this movie so much. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is out today. Someone call an Uber? It's cold in here. Let's turn up the heat. God, for a guy named Knuckles, you are really bad at punching. How good is that? And the man who plays Dr. Robotnik joins us this morning. Jim Carey, you beautiful man. How are you? Oh, thank you. You too. I appreciate being here. Jim, I don't want to start the interview on a bad note. It's just last time we caught up and we actually flew to LA for our Sonic interview and we offered you an invitation to come and visit Australia and yeah. we are still sitting here waiting. Yeah. We yeah. need you in this great country. Well, you know, I know, I would love to be there. You know, I honestly... You've never been I, here. I, I, I have never been there and I uh, honestly, I feel like Australians, I have a kinship. You're somehow... Yeah. I don't know what happened, but the... Uh, you have a very Canadian vibe <laughs> to me. There's a there's a certain levity and enjoyment for life and stuff like that that is very much what I grew up with, and I, I sense yeah. that in Australian people. You guys like we, to live life. We we have been compared to Canadians quite a bit before, and I mean you are a very proud Canadian yourself. Yeah. Actually, we were only having a conversation before we were speaking to you, Jim about the greatest Canadians going around because there's massive who's the who would be the biggest in your eyes because we look at Celine Dion you got Justin Oof, Bieber geez. is Jim Carrey would he be in the top 3 have to be Terry Fox <laughs> who is Terry Fox? You don't know who Terry Fox is? I don't no. know Terry, Terry Fox. Terry Fox. Terry Fox was the Canadian uh, amputee that that ran across the country, went went wow. across the entire country, and galvanized the the imagination of the whole country. It was like literally, if you look at a documentary about Terry Fox, it's it's one of the most inspiring stories ever ever done. Wow. And it just great. makes you cry from joy. You yeah. just, I love it's, that. It's absolutely lovely. So you're telling me Terry Fox would outrank Chad Kroger? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a he couple would, of... Would he? Maybe there's a couple of people on the curling squad that would beat him out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can we focus on mine? Because we, we've been in radio, we've been in radio for over, well, God, we've been doing it for Ten about years. 15 years now, Jim. And um, you actually have done a little bit for the weekend, like the latest album that The Weeknd did, yes. who is a proud Canadian as well. Yes. You sound great. This is Jim Carrey's yes. own radio show. You are now listening to 103.5 Don FM. You've been in the dark for way too long. It's time to walk into the light and accept your fate with open arms. Are, yeah. you, are you coming for our jobs, Jim? Or That's right. Are you thinking I'm, about I'm gunning starting? for you, man. I'm gunning for you. How much radio have you done? It's, uh, it's amazing because... Um, yeah, I, I feel so lucky. It's it's one of those things, you know. I years ago on Mulholland Drive, I visualized my future as if it were already <laughs> in existence. And one of the things I asked for is to keep reintroducing myself to new generations of people, and uh, and my work has definitely done that. And 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 now I'm getting to benefit from the fact that the people who are the important uh, creators of today are coming to me and going, I'm in the business because The Mask yeah. was the first movie I ever saw. You know, yeah. the, the uh, Abel, The Weeknd, came to me when we met. He said, you have no idea. That it was, it was, it was wow. you. After Hours was inspired by The Mask. You know, yeah. and uh, Eminem said that at one point. He said that his Diamond wow, album was entirely inspired by The Truman Show and Man on the Moon. And, uh, I mean, it's just one of those things where, you know, the people I'm fans of, you know, the, yes. the, the new people coming up that boggle my mind with their genius are like mm. somehow were affected by something I did. And uh, it's just, yeah. it's so gratifying. But Dr. Robotnik is back, which is exciting. And I need to ask, um, the new character, Knuckles, you team up with him uh, like in the last movie, but Robotnik is a really nasty person. 
But Robotnik, you'd say, is a pretty nasty person. Do you bring a lot of your own personality to Dr. Robotnik? I just, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I let the, uh, I let the id out. Yes, I, I sure. Let, I let the yang rule. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yep. uh, yeah, but this, that's what's fun about these characters, man. It's just like, you know, it's no holes barred. <laughs> it's the, it's, it's so much fun to be a villain. It is really, truly what they say. You look at the, you look at the Sonic movies and, you know, we sit at home and I've got a five, uh, a seven-year-old and a two-year-old yeah. and we sit around the dinner table. We're talking Same about mother? Jim Carrey. Same mother? So, <laughs> at this stage, yeah. <laughs> I think so. She's, but whether I'm the she, same father is the question. <laughs> One of them's got blonde hair. Uh-oh. Don't worry about that. Uh-oh. It's another story. He looks like an but Uber he... Uber driver, you know. <laughs> but he's a great driver. He always great indicates. Driver. Five stars. You know, five stars. Five stars. Straight to the door and really friendly on the weekends. Yeah, yeah. But Jim, we sit around the table talking about Jim Carrey. My kids love Jim Carrey, oh. and you know. A, Ace Ventura was a huge film when we were growing up. So now we've gone through all the other movies down the track with you know to the Master Dumb and Dumber and all of these, and the boys are obsessed. So there's the next it. generation coming through, and they'll yeah. be like the geniuses that you spoke of. I'm sure. Maybe they'll run into me one day and they'll go, "That old guy did that." <laughs> that, that, that too bad. His moustache is different <laughs> to the yeah. movie, Dad. Oh no, that's just weird hair growing. That's he doesn't know it's there. <laughs> yeah. So you know that, that is one of the thrills of my life. I I swear to God, it's like still to this day, I have eight-year-olds coming up to me going, yeah. who just saw The Grinch for the first time and things yeah. like that. I mean, what a what an incredible gift. And I'm, I'm, my life is just graced beyond what I, what I could have ever expect. It's wild. Yeah. Is there, a, is there a moment, though, Jim, when you were, like, when you were doing those movies that you actually met someone that really took your breath away? Was there someone, can you remember yeah, a moment when you sure. were a young comedian? Oh, absolutely. I've met many. I met Robin Williams early on that it was like, wow. just, my God, what a, what a, that, he was like watching Wyatt Earp, you know, what, like, yep. like he was the fastest gunslinger in the West. His brain was... Wow was an absolute incredible machine of genius. Yeah. And I've seen so many. I got be, to be friends with Richard Pryor, and yep. you know he gave me advice, and he, he loved me, and I spent time with him and his family. And mm. you know I've had guidance. Rodney Dangerfield, people, these legends, yeah, legendary right. people that, that found something that was like a button in the zeitgeist, you know? A guy like Rodney, who there's not a man on the earth, there's not a person on the earth that can't identify with Rodney Dangerfield feeling Fair like, I'm being buried alive, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> When he said, I love when that. somebody did somebody step on a duck in Caddyshack when yeah. he farted, I remember that as a kid, and our whole family we mm. replayed that I reckon a sure. hundred times. <laughs> yeah, it's my- so yeah. All the way through time, there's been people, and now there's new people that I that I meet, uh, Jennifer Hudson, and people like that that have come up mm. to me and uh, expressed appreciation, and that I mm. look at and I go, my God, what an incredible mm. talent. You know, so it's it's come full circle, and it continues. Yeah. You know, as long as I want yeah, to be, be here, it seems to be there for me. You know. Well, Jim, Jim, can we just say too? I mean, that invitation is still open. Uh, you are still welcome in Australia. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's well, you, you know and Ricky I gotta Gervais. Go, I got to go see those guys as soon as I go to Australia. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Thank you. You'll yeah. need yeah. protection down here, Jim, and mm. we can organise that. But once you <laughs> yeah. but consider once us you... your heavies, <laughs> I'll be knuckles. All right, I'll be knuckles. You'll, will you surround me when I'm surfing so that you, yeah, yeah. Yep. like a shark <laughs> barrier? Can you give me a shark <laughs> barrier? Yeah, yeah. I'll wear a fake fin. We're okay, doing it. Good. We're doing. Jim Carrey, we love you, buddy. Sonic the Hedgehog love- Two. It's out out now, exclusive to cinemas, mate. Thank you so much for coming on. It's Thank great you to see f- your face for on. having me. And hello, Australia. I can't wait to see you in person. I love you very much. Thank you, Jim. And Carrey. you have given you, a mate. lot, a lot, a lot of creative and amazing artists to the world. Thank Unbelievable you. amount of talent has come out of Australia. That's so impressive. It's amazing. Well, Thanks, say, say hello to Chad Kroger for us, mate. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> See you, buddy. Bitsy and Whipper.